Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Brody shows off his mad 3x3 skills to try and impress strangers on the internet in order to make up for his low self-esteem. Today I'm going to try out people's 3x3 PB scrambles to try and get some freaky fast times. I had this idea over three months ago, but I didn't get around to making it until now, which means that everyone who gave me their scrambles has probably forgotten all about it, and they've probably broken their PB since then, but whatever. Gotta get that hashtag content. So when I made that community post, I told people to give me the scramble and tell me what cross color they did, but not to give me the reconstruction. I've also specifically avoided trying out or even looking at these scrambles until now. And because I know that someone is going to ask this, if I do beat my PB on any of these, it's not going to count as my new PB. I think that that would be cheating, and do you think that I'm the kind of person who would fake solves just for clout? Also, that post got over 200 comments, so this video will either be in multiple parts, be super long, or have a lot of solves cut out of it depending on how I'm feeling while editing this. Anyway, let's stop stalling to get to 10 minutes easier and get to the actual solves. Okay, we are going to be starting with the physicist Cuber who has two different scrambles that both have a PV of 618. So just in general, I don't know if I'm going to be putting all of the scrambles on screen or just the ones where I get a really good solve. We'll see how I'm feeling while I'm editing this. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. No wonder you got a 618 on that. That was incredibly easy. I was honestly expecting a lot of these to just not work for me. But oh my god, sub 5 on the first try. <laughs> That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Now we still got more than 200 to go through including the other 618 he has. Ooh. So both of those, very nice. I beat you on one of those because it's a cuber and not the other. Okay, now on to Luke Garrett who got a 436. Let's try this one. And because Luke Garrett got his PV on Red Cross, I'm going to be putting white where red normally is when I scramble, so I get the scramble on white cross. Another alright one, but looks like I lost this time. So here's the thing about this, I was actually really nervous to make this video, because with the other two challenge videos I made, if I get a bad time or something, I can say, oh, well, here's this thing that was making it harder for me. But this is just regular 3x3. Three three. So every time I mess up, that's just proving that I suck. And that's bad. Ooh, very nice. <sighs> Shoot. Here's Camellio B with a 637. Oh my. Oh wait. Guess what guys? Camellio B is a faker. And I know because this is the classic easy scramble. Two move X cross. Sets up this pair which sets up this pair. Sets up this. Straight into T perm. That one's fake. That was a really, really nice scramble, but I just locked up a bunch because I suck. Okay, here is Tom Mask with 11.39. What? Okay. Yes! Another sub six. That was a very nice scramble. 
ZBLL for the win. So the thing about this is that if I if someone gets like a, a really fast time and that's their PB, then I can be pretty certain that it's a really good scramble. But if someone's PB is like 13 or above, then I can't be so certain. It, because they probably did something I would never think of and they ended up getting lucky or something like that. Oh my. I'm off to a good start here. Let's see what I can get. Don't you just love lockups? Especially when you get a cross like that. Aren't they your favorite thing? Okay, that was not perfect, but that was a very good solve. So the thing is, I'm this far in and I still don't know what my goal should be, that's the thing. I want to say like more sub fives and that was probably going to be my original goal, but I, okay, let's, let's try to beat that 499, I think that would be reasonable. 15.42 for Jesse Martinez. <laughs> Boom, baby. <laughs> I do apologize to Max Park for that one. Can't do that justice. 541. Yeah. one we'll see how this goes Eitan chilled probably got that very wrong I'm sorry on white cross 568 sub five now we just need to beat that I don't know exactly how but we'll see what happens okay two things first thing from this point on just because they're the only ones that really have a chance of getting exciting fast solves I think I'm going to stick to only doing the faster PV scrambles from this point on in the video and second of all because I realized I'm half an hour into recording and all of my commentary is boring as crap, I may overdub this. We'll see how it goes. That's a name in letters that I cannot read, which says 831. a good scramble and then I locked up way too much and I failed it come on I'm sorry Mahoro Komota there's another seven but then again sevens are my average so if it's a PB scramble and I get a seven on it is it really that good eh. H2O Cuber with an 863. Oh, wow. Okay. No, I messed it up. 
<laughs> Messed up. Got a ZBL, still got a 7.4. That could have been seriously good. Okay, 788 from Matthew Cubes. Let's do this one. What? We have a solved cross for the first time in this video. Yeah! That was pure skill right there. Pure skill, I tell you. Awesome. For those of you who are really good at continuity stuff, you will notice it says 358 on the screen. That is not a time I got. I got a scramble that I really like, messed up on it like a second in, and now I'm retrying it. Feel free to call me a cheater for doing this, but Prav, Prav, however I pronounce your name, I'm going to show you what I think I can do with this scramble. There we go, 604. Much better than messing up three and a half seconds in. Jamie Cuber has a 701 PB. Let's see if we can beat that. Messed up on this one as well. I somehow messed up and still got a sub seven. I don't, that's the magic of PB scrambles to be honest. It's amazing. Here is Tyler Hicks, a three by three student of mine in my three by three training sessions, which you can get more info about in the link in the description. You should check it out. Got a 619, so let's try this out. you down I failed on your PB Ooh, oh boy guys Andres Arias got 4.00 on this one let's see if I can do that must have messed up somewhere if it was that good and then I got a last layer skip and 451 that would that's that if that were real that would be my third best solve ever oh my goodness plus two yay for me <laughs> Tristan Hastings has a 983. Yes! 576. Awesome. I'm loving this. No, honestly, like, I don't know how interesting it is to you guys, but I find this a lot less stressful than I found the other challenge videos because I'm getting good times. Here's Owen Wilkins, who has an 873, and then wants me to try out his OHPV scramble as well. Six ninety-two on the three by three with two hands with a ZBLL, then the OH one. Let's try that now. He got a sixteen seventeen on it. That lock up on the G perm. Oh, 
Even with that, it's still a sub six. That was a ridiculous scramble. Here is Uwu with a 743. Oh. oh my god. I locked up on the AUF. No. That would have been probably sub 4.5. Oh. Darn it. Dang it. Can't believe that. After that solve, I tried out about 30 more PB scrambles, but none of the commentary or the solves themselves were interesting at all. I'd rather not bore you by making you watch all of that, so I'm just going to go straight to the conclusion. As a side note, if you're hearing this, I really appreciate that you watched the whole video. That means a lot to me. Anyway, here's the end of the video. So guys, that is all the scrambles. Thank you to everyone that submitted them. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them but I just wanted to make this as entertaining as possible. The, distribu the distribution still looks pretty normal compared to what I usually get, except I don't usually get four fours and six fives in an average of 100, but it was mainly sevens and then sixes, eights, and going out from there. So thank you to everyone who submitted your scrambles. Thank you to all of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe and all that. I'll see you guys next time.